Welcome back to What Are You Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an Object 430U, it's the Tier 10 Soviet medium tank, and this one's located on the Westbourne, or is it the Eastbourne? It's the Eastbourne of Paris, and it's under the command of Dave333 of Phylox. Now, the Object 430U, well, it was supposed to be the replacement for the T-54, but it was discontinued in favour of the Object 432, which was uh, designed instead in 1961. Now, it's got a 122-metre M62T2U gun, and he's a crew of four, and it looks like Dave is going to be taking the shortcut. Nope, he's decided to go the circuitous route around where all the heavies are, and he's dodging around them. He's got a top speed of 50 kilometers an hour, 18 backwards. And he's <laughs> barging his way past, trying to get to the uh, firing area as quickly as he can without being spotted. Okay, this is the difficult bit when he crosses here. Now, is the enemy in sight? No. So he's safe. Okay. Now this is where he might spot the enemy. And yes, there is one. There's a 257 there already. And he's side scraping. He fires around in, damages the tracks. He's got an eight second reload. And the 65 tons moving up to shoot. There's an IS-6 appears to be in the dip. Or is he around the corner? No, looks like he's uh, in the dip. We've got a, a Prima Victoria facing off against him. Also, uh, just underneath the bridge, I think. Or is it around the corner? No, I think he's around that corner. Okay, now, Dave is going to try and get rounds into that uh, that tank that's coming around the corner right now. He's a bit of a noob. There's the Primo. There's the IS-6. Okay, side scraping around the corner. Comes into view. You can see the IS-6. Fires around in, damages the tracks. Oh, we lose the Primo Victoria to the T29. Yep, the IS-6 is still there. Working out where he's going to be. Oh, watch out, the 257. Now, I'm not sure if Dave saw that, but the 257 missed him. The 257 was watching him, and he's on that corner. He did manage to get around through that uh, IS-6, or rather somebody did. As you can see, a huge hole in the side of the vehicle. And Dave's decided he's going to go for it. And he's <laughs> dashing down underneath the bridge. He's going to face off against these tanks right in the uh, facing of them together. Right, there's the IS-6. He gets a hit. 403 hit points. He's got a pretty good alpha, this gun. 440. So that was a low roll see the enemy there but we can we can definitely see the 257 now he's coming into view he's just around the corner he just blew his round oh now who got that round i don't think anybody did but the 65 time just jumped up at the top onto the uh, enemy there's the 257 we get a round in 362 that's a low roll there's a lot of um, team damage going on there i'm afraid and we lost our own knee and we also lost our uh, IS. And that 257 is getting assaulted by multiple tanks. We're pushing up to try and get a round on him. And we take him out of the game. 257's gone. Now, we're going after the Tiger 1 and the T43. Tiger 1's poked around the corner, but didn't penetrate. Now, let's see if we can penetrate on him. We do. 423. It looks like it went through his front tracks as well. And he's repaired them. But he puts a round into us for 219. He's going after the T-43 and Tiger-1 again. And this time round, 345 on the Tiger-1. But we get 281 back at us. Now, we've got 1,800 hit points, so it's not, not going to be too bad. Oh, we lost our ammo rack there. We got a big hit on the Tiger, but our reload has now shot up. It's now up to 16 seconds. Now, can he put that back in? Well, no, not yet. And he's not reloaded. He's bounced two rounds. He's going into clinch with the Tiger 1, and he takes him out of the game altogether, but he takes a big hit from the C-43. That shot went through the tracks, and there's a GW Panther firing at him from the field. Now, is he going to bully this T-43? Well, he's, I think so. 
and he could. T43 is not going to be able to withstand too many shots before he'll be out of the game. Come around the corner. T43, lock on, and 359. And he gets some ram hit there, ram points there. 90. So he's a one shot now. As soon as Dave can get his ammo rack fixed. Unfortunately, his, um, his, uh, ammo, his repair kit's in cooldown. Okay, he's loaded. And the T49's, uh, T43's out the game. The T29 is down here. We need to get back to the cap. Somebody is capping. But there's only two enemy... Uh, oh, there's, sorry, there's more than two enemy left. There's six enemy left. There's only two left on our team. And that was a round coming in. So we're against the odds here. It's two versus six. Three RT, two mediums, and a tank destroyer. And two are in the cap now. So he needs to get back as quickly as he can. And there's one of them. It's a T28 prototype. He fires the round in, but it doesn't penetrate. And he takes the round into the tracks. And he is stunned. So it probably was from the RT. Or at least a round from the RT. He's going to go in for the T28 prototype. Fires around in, takes the T28 prototype out. And that resets the cap a little, but not a huge amount. Now, somebody's still in the cap. He needs to get that cap reset. It's a T34-1. And he takes him out of the game completely. 310 hit points. Now, the next is a medium and three artists. The medium is a standard B. And somebody's in the cap still. So the kill, tank he killed was not the tank that was in the cap. It wasn't resetting. Somebody's still in there. It's the standard B. And he's received a round, but he finishes off the standard B. 435 and receives another round from the enemy RT into the tracks. Okay, there's only two enemy RT left. There's two on his team, so it's now a fair fight. Two RT versus a heavy and a medium. And he's deciding he's going to go the direct route. So he's going to turn left around this corner. No, he's not. He's decided to go to the field straight away. Now, there's only uh, two RT left, so he should load HE. But he's still got standard AP. And there's the RT. It's a 3805. He gets that kill. It's his seventh kill. He's going for the ram. Oh, he got hit by the FB3805 for 210 just as he rammed him. And now he's stunned. He's going to be slower. And he really needs this last kill. He's on seven at the moment. No, he's on six at the moment. Sorry. If he fired H here, that, uh, that RT, he would have taken him out with one shot. He wouldn't have lost so many hit points. Now, where is that enemy uh, RT? It's a GW Panther, the one with the turret, and he's round that corner. We need to get to him as quickly as we can. Now, who's going to get there first, the 4502 or Dave? Uh, hopefully, it's going to be Dave. If that GW pulls back around the corner, he's going to suddenly come into view, and there he is. And he takes him out of the game with one shot. 360 hit points, wins the game. Oh, dear. <laughs> and that was a good game, and most of the team said good game at the end of it. So let's have a look at the end of battle results. And it's a first-class tanker for Dave333 of Phylox in the Object 430. Uh, it wasn't the 430 U as I thought it was. It was actually the 430. And uh, actually, I think the 430 is not the Tier 10. It's actually the... Uh, uh, if I remember correctly, a tier nine. So I was referring to the wrong tank, the wrong heavy tank, uh, the wrong medium tank, um, because the 430 uh, was a, a replacement proposal for the T54, but it has the 122 millimeter D25 gun, which is one of the favorite guns. But anyway, <laughs> even though I got that wrong, uh, it was a tier nine battle. Um, but Dave managed to get a hand of God during that battle. He was damaged by four enemy and he managed to survive uh, the battle. 
Uh, he also picked up a Bruiser Medal for getting at least 5 critical hits. He got 10. A Duelist Medal for taking down 2 enemies who did damage to him during the battle. A Fire for Effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. A Shell Proof for surviving the battle having received m uh, more damage or, uh, blocked by armour than the hit points of his own vehicle. So he would have died for certain if all of those shots had penetrated, but they didn't. They bounced off. He also picked up a Defender because he reset the cap uh, with several shots. Um, to make sure that uh, the enemy didn't win and uh, he had to do it several times uh, because the enemy kept putting a new person in the gap and he also picked up a steel wall because he blocked at least 11 shots a uh, lot damage of at least a thousand hit points overall um, during the battle and lastly he picked up a top gun uh, he got managed to get six kills in total in actual fact he picked up seven and if he'd picked up one more kill he would have been the radley walters and Dave actually said, if only I'd fired HE at the first starty. Well, that's true, yes. If you had fired HE at that first starty, you probably would have killed him with one shot because the shell would have gone in through the side, the weak armor at the side, and he wouldn't survive that. Uh, but you fired AP, and um, thank God you didn't fire APCR. That would have been really embarrassing because I've seen so many heavy tanks fire APCR at RT, and it's just a waste of credits when you do. But it was a pretty good battle, so let's have a look at team scores, see where we did. Well, Dave managed to get the highest damage overall. He picked up 4,477 hit points of damage. Um, did I mention that he... Uh, yeah, so he didn't pick up the high caliber. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of a query. Uh, why didn't he pick up the high caliber? Well, we'll have to look into that. Um, he did get the highest number of kills, 7, and he got the highest base XP, 1,342. So why didn't he get the high caliber? Let's have a look at the detail report. Well, that's the reason why. He didn't pick up the high caliber because he did some team damage during the battle. Uh, he fired 20 rounds, got 19 direct hits and 14 penetration. Did damage of 4,477 hit points. He received 19 hits during that battle. Six were penetration. 13 were non-penetration and 5 as a result of splash damage from the RT firing at him. And those RT were really trying to kill him uh, and they did successfully track him on one occasion. Uh, I think that was the GW Panther who did that. And they were definitely engaging in the battle during in the streets uh, trying to help save their teammates. He blocked damage of 2,210 hit points. So if you remember during the battle I said he's got 1,800 hit, uh, hit points altogether. So he definitely blocked more damage done the hit points for his own vehicle he spotted two enemy vehicles so the RT and uh, I believe one of the other enemy he did damage to nine of the enemy three-fifths of the enemy team and killed seven he also managed to do damage assistance of 554 hit points and he managed to get 91 defense points he only needed 70 to actually get the defenders medal but he did 91 so he did do a lot of work on that now, on a premium account, he earned 66,743 credits, got 33,125 because he had a personal reserves going at the same time, but he lost 494 credits because he did some team damage during the battle. Wasn't much, but it was enough to cause problems, and that's why he didn't pick up the high caliber. Uh, so his total was 99,374, and after repair and ammunition resupply, he still had 16,414 credits. So, he received 2013 uh, 2, XP, times 2 for the first victory of the day, and he had a personal reserves for 50% going as well, so he took away a total of 5,033 experience points altogether. So it was a pretty satisfactory bat battle, and Dave was in the thick of it, and uh, that problem with the, uh, um, the Amarak was more to do with the fact that, yes, he was carrying a large repair kit, which is what I tend to do as well, uh, because it does help you to cure multiple problems all at once. Uh, but the problem is he'd already used it, he'd burned it, and it was in cooldown, so he couldn't get rid of that really slow uh, reload every time he wanted to fire a shell at the Tiger and the T-43. So he did suffer a lot of damage from them as a result of uh, um, his ammo rack being uh, destroyed. But um, it was a pretty good battle all, all in all, and I'm sure that he would have got a, um, um, a, a Radley Waters if he had managed to get one more kill. Uh, well, certainly he would have got a Radley if he'd got one more kill. He certainly did the most effort during that battle, and congratulations to Dave333 for that uh, great result. Um, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel, and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.